on everyone? It's me again. I've had people ask me, what's the difference between a radiator coolant change and a radiator coolant flush? And today, since I'm going to be changing the radiator coolant on the IS300, I'm just going to show you the difference. So let's get right to it. If you haven't already done so, jack up the car, raise the hood so you have you know more lighting. And then if you have a splash guard, go ahead and remove that too. Locate the drain plug. Loosen the cap. Have your pan ready. And then drain. Wait until it's fully drained. Once you're pretty much drained cooling system, you can pretty much refill from here if you're just doing a radiator coolant change. But since we're going for the whole shebang, go ahead and Shut this off. Top it off with some distilled water. Now the reason why I say distilled is you don't want to run tap water <laughs> through your cooling system. And the reason being is our tap water has fluoride. Why that is, I don't know. Maybe to keep our, you know, our teeth clean. I don't know <laughs> why they add such things. But fluoride, as it cycles through your cooling system, it develops calcium deposits and these calcium deposits over time will ruin your water pump okay so that's why you don't ever ever want to run tap water through your cooling system ever okay <laughs> that's it you know that i cannot stress that you know enough once you're completely topped off go ahead and start the car until it warms up to the point where the thermostat opens and the whole cooling system gets circulated even throughout you know the heater core which what I'm gonna show you what to do next after the, the fan kicks in go ahead and start the car wait till it gets warm just waiting for the radiator fan to kick in heater just kicked in yo go ahead and put the heat all the way up high, no AC. By the way, go ahead and let that run for a few minutes. After a couple minutes, go ahead and shut off your engine. Then drain the engine once again. Oh, by the way, I just added a little contraction. That way there's not too much spillage. Let's repeat the process until you start flushing out clear water. If it's coming out clear at this point, then it's pretty safe to say you can put the, the new coolant in 50-50 mix after you completely drain this out and close the, uh, the drain. Once you're fully topped off, go ahead and run your engine. Make sure it cycles the whole system. It also helps to burp the system. Squeeze this hose a couple of times. Air pockets might give a uh, false reading as far as the temperatures go. Try to take out those air pockets as much as possible. You'll know when to stop when you squeeze and it stops going down. There you go. Forget about your overflow tank. You need to fill that up all the way to the top. To the full line. Okay. That's it right there. All done. Make sure to dispose of all your used coolant. Do not flush it down the drain. Do not flush it in the toilet. And if you don't have time to take it to the shop uh, or parts store to dispose of it, make sure it's out of reach of any crazy curious animals, two-legged or four. Have you done so, go ahead and put your splash guard back on. So that pretty much concludes the radiator coolant flush or change, depending on what you're wanting to do. Purpose of doing this was, you know, it's, it's maintenance and plus also if you've pur recently purchased a car and it has a bad aluminum radiator or you have rust inside the uh, the the stock radiator 
this will, you know, this kind of preventive maintenance will help, you know, reduce that risk. Okay, so if you do it right, you know, you're gonna make your radiator last a long, long time. So with that, thank you very much for watching this video. Please share, like, comment, make any suggestions, and um, also I wanted to take this time to thank each and every one of you guys and girls to show gratitude for you know making this channel uh, as successful as it is and you won't be forgotten our next contest is coming up soon you know milestone 1000 okay so um, make sure to share uh, tell your friends they're, if they're into this kind of stuff well you never know okay take care have a great time good luck don't do anything crazy out there kids see ya